Your brother plays drums? What's your brother's name? Jaden. Jaden. How old is Jaden? Three. Three. And he plays drums? Yeah. Okay, now what I want you to do is this is an, this is an imagination exercise. Because kids have good imaginations. Uh, you're already a great bass player. So you pass my bass playing test. I give you an A+. Plus, right? <laughs> and I write good stuff on your report card. Now, we're not going to think about playing the bass. I want to see how well you can imagine Jaden playing. Okay? With you. Okay? What I want you to do is let Jaden play the beat and imagine it in your head. And I want you to be able to see your little brother. I want you to hear him and feel him. Like you, feel, you might even feel the kick drum shaking the floor. Let Jaden play first. And then I want you to play with him. But here's the tricky part. When you play with Jaden, I don't want you to think about the bass at all. I just want you to pour all your attention and imagination into Jaden. Does that make sense? So let Jaden, imagine Jaden playing first. And when you're ready, without even thinking about the bass, play with him. Okay? Ready? Go for it. Let Jaden play first. Don't, don't think of the bass. Go for it. Play it, but don't think about it. Only imagine Jaden. Think about the bass. Play without thinking about the bass. I want to see how well you can imagine Jaden as you play. Yes. You're going to play, but don't think about it. Look up at everybody. 
can get a person to listen, right? When you really get a person to listen, it works with any age. Any age, when you get them to listen, it becomes more musical because now we're sharing music with each other. Where before, we're just getting the notes right, getting the technique right. But all of a sudden, we start playing. Right? The lifting the head thing didn't, change, didn't uh, affect it as much as, I, as uh, it does with other people. But when we play, we listen. Yeah. My brother Joseph is here. Joseph plays keyboards. Okay. So three of the four brothers are here. Joseph's sons are here. Oh, one, of, uh, one of my kids are here. She's going to NYU now. She's here. Hey, Kyla. Hi. Good to see you. There she is. There she is. Where's Kyla? Doo -doo. Yeah. Um, Joseph. Thanks. And if you could tell these uh, musicians in here something, a piece of Joseph Wooten wisdom to help them how much time do I have? No. <laughs> Great, man. Let me see. Thank you, too, man. Well done, man. You keep doing it, all right? Keep listening to your brother, even when he's not here. Good job, man. Hey, how about it for Asmar, everybody? Yeah. Asmar was incredible. Go this way, please. I just want to remind Victor to keep listening to his brother. <laughs> listen to your brother, Victor. Listen to your brother, man. <laughs> no, I, uh, I think what I'll add, because Victor speaks, speaks so many volumes about music, I'll say, I'll pass on what my mother used to say about good musicians. Uh, she would come to see us play, and uh, people would want to pat her on the back, and aren't you so talented? I mean, aren't you so proud? Your sons are so talented. All five of them are equally talented, doesn't that make you so proud? And she would say, I'm not so proud because they're talented. She'd say, they've been playing their whole lives. Anybody that does something their whole life ought to be good at it. <laughs> she would say, I'd be, if they weren't talented, I'd be embarrassed, she would jokingly <laughs> say. But what she would say with seriousness is that, is that uh, what does the world need with one more good musician? We have enough good musicians, we need more good people. So what I would, what I like to say to musicians is that it's more, it's more important. M music is.